Greetings everyone. Oh wait, that's not my intro. Uh, welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Exploration of Darkness. Um, this is a Wii recording because the sound got messed up. Like the sound, I know for, some, for, the, for these videos for some reason the sound always seems to be a little off. And I do apologize for that. I am trying to figure out how to fix that, but I'm sorry. Um, but the sound when they were, it was not just off, it was just so, so, it was unbearable, so I re-recorded, but I didn't have time. Um, it's right now 6.43. Actually, interesting story, um, I got out of school early today, because, um, there was a fire in my school. Yep, there was a fire. Um, yeah, it happened in the bathroom. I think it burned the second and third floor bathroom. Caught on fire. No one got hurt that I'm aware of. Um, Channel 3 was there. I didn't get an interview, but I did take a picture with the news reporter you guys want to see. So, here's the picture. I don't know why I left the game. I left the game after I stopped it. It's like, whatever, wait. You have to show the picture in post editing. Yeah, but yeah, he's really nice. I don't know his name, but I know he's from Channel 3. Um. So yeah. He's out there for a while. I didn't have my sweater because um, one of my friends um, was cold, so I gave her my sweater. And three, smile goes for miles. Okay, Pokemon, time to get to work. Hurrah! Hurry, we have to rescue Azumarill. Hurry up to Mount Crystal. Yeah. Actually, quite fun. The news guy is actually really nice. Uh, as you might record in this one and two has always came out today. Today is Thursday. Wait, I actually wonder, do I have school tomorrow? Because of the fire, I'm not sure they're going to have school tomorrow. Oops. Tackle. Oh, uh, this is before I did the grinding. Uh, okay. Well, I will lower stay where I already did the grinding once we reach the boss. Okay, come on. Uh, don't die. Someone's in there. Away. Okay, well, I can't leave Wobbin behind. Uh, Wobbin actually took care of that, no problem. So, how have you guys been? Tell you about my day, hey, I had to do it for fire. So I don't know why. Well, let's show them we can do this. Oh, it's with me. Um. So I think so always happens with me and 
Okay, he lost the world to fight. Uh, it's not a bad thing. No, it's like a good thing. We're just going to the same place. I'm not trying to go to the Oh, oh, we didn't even have to go to the way back. Um. So, I'm not done with this. So, it's a thing where... We're basically... It's a thing that seems to only happen between me and girls for some reason. I never get this coming from a boy. But when I do something nice, a girl, like, not all girls, but some, a good amount of girls. And I, okay, I only have gotten this from girls. I've never gotten this from a boy. So I always, I always hear this. Oh, he's so nice. I always get that. I don't know why. I get that I'm doing something nice and I'm flattered. I like, like, I'm okay with it. But always when I say, what? Uh, you know, I only know this. Only girls seem to say this to me. Uh, I was talking about, I was telling my friends about it. Because that happened during the fire. And I was like, I wish I had that problem. And there were times that they wish they had that problem. Yeah. Come on, where's the staircase? Am I even recording? Yes, okay. Oh, well, that was pointless. Well, that was even more pointless. That was just as pointless, I mean. Where's the stairs? They may hit that. Use tackle. Use tackle. Hmm. Where's the stairs in this place? But yeah, no, I actually wonder. Like, do I have school tomorrow? Because of the fire. I feel like that's a good question. I don't know, I don't know why I'm bothering to pick these items up. Because I'm just going to open them and can save on some of this. Oh, that's a bit in. Second. I mean, if I did, it's only 6 51, about to be 7. I could still do my homework if, there was, if I had homework. And then you need to do your homework, kids. Please. 
die. Now I'm gonna regain my health. Okay, I got enough of my health back. Come on. Are you kidding me? There's so many Pokemon. Handle this. Come on, give me the stairs already. I just want to get out of this place. Just beginning my health. That's what I like about mystery tension, man. You just aping your health when you move. Oh, I can miss this is so I can. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Hold our ground. I will smoke on you. Trust in you. And I will do the same to you. Use tackle. Nope. What floor was I on? Okay. Get back. Okay, yeah, I just realized. Um, well, now I'm now I'm floor seven. I completely forgot. That was on floor six. I, well, I didn't realize how it's on floor six until now. Oh yeah. Um. So when I use so 
going back to the fire situation, um, uh, when there was a fire at my school, um, and there were times to pick things up, my mom was actually busy, so I had to wait for a little bit for her to get here, to get to my school, and, um, so what I did is, every, every fireman police officer that went by, I said thank you to them. Well, we have no choice but to fight if we want to get out. So yeah, so every fireman and for, for every fireman and police officer that went by, I did thank you. on the stairs. Be back. I was on floor seven, right? Oh yeah, if you see if you see a level different, that's because there's a level different. Let me just find the stairs. Ember. Burn everything. Everything must burn. Come on, give me stairs.
Come on, give me the stairs. Items, egg apple. There we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's a dead hen. Excuse me, Mr. Strazzy, where is my lost item? Can you show me where the item is now? Sorry, kid. Sorry, kiddo. Your lost item. It's not here. That's for sure. Huh? My, my big brother. My big brother following us. Right? He's coming soon. No. Your big brother's not coming. I'll let you in on a little secret. This was all a trick. I deceived you. Huh? But let's not dwell on that. There's a little favor I need to ask. See that hole behind you? Well, there's a rumor that there's a traveling drove of thieves treasure inside there. But as soon as... As, but as you can see, I'm too big to squirm my way through that hole. And that's where you come in. Don't worry, just do as I say. Do that and then I'll help you get back out of here. What? Go on. Get going. Go into that hole and don't forget to bring back the treasure. Where at? Hey, I just realized I have the I have this game speed up. Hey, stop that! Shh. I said that all. I'll take you home when you're done. If you won't do what I ask, there'll be trouble for you. Help! Stop right there. We, we won't let you do that. You drowsy, you bully. How did you find this place? We're Team Moonlight. An exploration team. No criminal can escape us. An exploration team? You came to apprehend? Huh? Are you trembling? Aha, uh -huh. I figured it out. You say you're on an exploration team, but you're a total wookies. Erk. Huh? That's right. I I'm a wanted Pokemon with a bounding on my head. But can you to do the job? Can you confront this outlaw and bring him to justice? Erk. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. We'll never lose to a bad guy like you. Ha ha ha. I've been chased by all sorts of x rays and team in my days, but never a so sorry looking bunch than you two. Erk. This should be a laugh. Let's see if you can take me down. Show me what you got. Okay, I loaded a save that was at this point. Let's smoke screen. Now let's ember. Let's ember. Oh 
Come on, Emperor. Okay. It's smoke screen. Yes, you vine whip. And I'll ember. We just do our strongest moves and we win. Rawr! We came to rescue you. Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? I'm okay. Great. What a relief. Your big brother is waiting. Let's go home. Okay. This is I am Magnus Zone, the primary officer in this region. Zit. Zit. Thank to you. We have been able to arrest a wanted outlaw. Zzt. Zzt. We owe you great thanks for your cooperation. Zzt. Zzt. We will send the, the reward to your guild. Thank you again. Zzt. Zzt. Now come with us. Oh. A sumer a sumerel? Meryl This sounds like Wario Mar I almost said Mario Meryl I was so scared You okay a sumerel? Are you hurt? He's fine. The little guy hasn't been harmed in any way. Really? That's a relief. Oh, a sumero. A sumero. I'm glad you kids are happy. You did this all for us, Robin and Sebastian. We won't forget what you did for us. Thank you so much. Come on, sumero. You too. Yep. Thank you very much. Thank you for rescuing me. Really, really, thank you. The exploration team, Fredo has sent a mention. Sebastian team was rewarded with an exploration treasure bag. You can now carry more items than you could before. I've got the bounty from Officer Magnus Zone. Wait, I've gotten the bounty from... I, I can't remember his voice. It's been too long. Um, I've gotten the bounty from Officer Magazine for the capture outlaw. Well done, you two. Here's your share for the job. It's yours to keep. Sebastian T received 3,000 pokes bounties that was on the head of the capture outlaw. However, because 270... 200 and 700 pokes of that is the guild share. The prioration team was withheld. As a result, S Sebastian's team received only the remaining 300 pokes. What? This is all we get? After all that hard work. I know, it's a, I've been working on this for days. But of course, I'll. It's all part of the training, and we expect just as much offer tomorrow. Well, if you also think about it, yeah, it makes sense, because we are living there. So you can say that the money that they take from us is basically the rent money and the money it takes to buy us food, and also probably reservation for the building and for our training. So it does make sense why they're taking so much, because... There are so many things. They still need to make money for themselves too. So I can see why. And we expect just as much effort tomorrow. Hee hee hee. Erk. 
I would be happy if our share of the reward was just a little bigger. But that's alright. We managed to rescue Zimril. And it's all thanks to you, Sebastian. Because you had that dream, Sebastian. We learned about Zimril trouble in advance. It's true. I can't explain it, but the first shout I heard from Azumarill. Help! Help! And that dream I had. If you keep being, being difficult, it will mean big trouble for you. Help! Both of these events, they took place in the future. Why was I able to see something like that? What was that dream about? Oh my stomach is growling. Ha ha ha. Your stomach growling too, Sebastian. You must have worked up a big appetite. I'm actually getting hungry myself. So after recording this, I'm going to go grab something to eat. We were so focused on we rescuing Azumarill that I didn't know this at all. Yeah, we well imagine how hungry they must be. They haven't eaten in days. But now I'm even hungrier. Come on, let's go get dinner, Sebastian. I always find that so funny. Wow, that's lightning intense. It looks like it's really storming tonight. Oh, hold on. You know, the night before we met, Sebastian, it was storming that night. I found you You passed out on the beach the day after that storm night, stormy night, Sebastian. Well, do you remember anything about being passed out on the beach? You remember anything at all? I wonder. Hmm. There was a storm, but how did I end up unconscious there? Nope, I can't remember a thing. I guess it wouldn't be that easy. But that's alright. Just try remember a little at a time. We have to get up early again tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. Sorry, I live right down the street from a fire station. Listen, Sebastian, are you still awake, Sebastian? I've been talking, thinking it over since it happened. That strange dream you had, Sebastian. Maybe it has to do with you, pers personality, personality, Sebastian. Huh? That's just the feeling I get. I'm sure it don't. No, any other Seneca who dreams about the future. And I'll never hear heard of a human suddenly turning into a Pokemon either. That's why I think those two events are connected. I can't help feeling that way. The key is unlock. Unlocking my memory. Was it in that dream? But even if that were true... How does it relate to anything else? I heard, I have no way of knowing what you were like as a human, Sebastian. But I think you, ha you must have been a good person. After all, Sebastian, it was your dream that helped us catch that bad Pokemon. Bad Pokemon, huh? Oh, that reminds me of what Chatot said. Ooh, this is going to be a long episode. That the growing number of bad Pokemon has been caused by time going out of rack. You know, 
This is getting messed up bit by bit all over the world. No one seems to know why. But everyone believes that in the time gears are somehow involved. Huh? The time gears? They say time gears are hidden in secret places around the world. Like in forest. Or at a lake in underground. Cavern. I even heard that there is a hidden altar inside a volcano. At the center of such place is what known oh, oh, sorry is what's known as a time gear. Time gears serve as very important factors. Even one protects time and keeps the flowing pattern in its regular Oh, hey, that looked like a gold bottle. But what happens if a region loses its time gear? I don't really know the answer to that question. Yeah, that's definitely a gold bottle. Oh, that's... That really looks like a gold bottle. But my guess is that if a time gear is removed from a region, the flow of time is that... Region will probably keep stop too. That's why everyone makes sure never to disturb time gear. Everyone has long been certain that some kind of disaster will strike, so everyone stays away from the time gears and don't doesn't tamper with it with them. Even the most hard hardened criminal Pokemon knows to avoid messing with them. Do my eyes deceive me? Could it be? Yes, it is. Oh, that's for sure a glow vial. I finally found it. It's a time gear. But it is only the first of many. The next morning. Okay, so I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. Um... Peace and happy gaming.